What's up, YouTube? I'm back. Did you miss me? All right, Joseph Sai guys. My name is Diaris. Welcome to my channel. And today is a special video. Um, very, a very, very, very monumental moment for me, at least. Um, there's actually two things I kind of want to talk about in this video. If you saw the title, you already know what it's about. But I kind of just want to talk about it and, you know, just kind of give like, you know, the thoughts and everything I was feeling, you know, when all these these things came to pass, which were kind of goals that I had in mind for this year. So, like I said, if you guys read the title, I made my first photo book. Oh my gosh. Guys, like, you don't know, like, as a photographer, you know, well, first I want to say, you know, we live in a digital age now where you can easily edit your photos and see it, you know, on the internet and other people can see it, like, right away. Well, back in the old times, people had to print their photos on pieces of paper, you know, in order for people to see it. And I, I sometimes think photography has kind of, like, lost that... Um, I guess that feeling of seeing pictures more on print than on like digital screens and all that. And, and, and I, I think that's, that's what makes photography so great is seeing it like being printed out. And I always kind of consider myself as a print photographer. Like I want to see my pictures on magazines, on posters, you know, on frames, on canvases. You know, having it on the on the Instagram, social media, digital like format, it's cool and all, but it's not where I want my photos to thrive. You know what I'm saying? Because when you get them on something like this, like it's just to me, it feels it feels like it's eternal. I don't know if that makes sense. Like I don't know, like as long as you take care of it, like it's there. But um, yeah, guys, uh, this is my first photo book. This is my first project that I created. It's called The Tale of Two Diseases. Um, let me give you a little backstory on this here. But uh, basically, this was a summer project that I had in mind already, but it kind of morphed into something else. Um, as you can see here, I have a little title here, a description about, you know, of this project. Um, and um, yeah, so at first, this photo book was only going to document COVID. As you guys know, I'm a street photographer um, and, you know, going into these empty streets here, as you can see, this is during like COVID, like it's empty, you know, it's, 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 um, it's pretty scary. I, I hope I'm actually holding this up here. You guys can see this, but um, yeah, I mean, the project was just about COVID and documenting all the different cities um, that I traveled in during, you know, these hard times and kind of just showing like people like these crazy bustling cities that have kind of become like empty and just kind of eerie um, for so many cities to be so quiet. But of course, 2020 is a year of many things. We're still not done with 2020, but other things has happened. So of course, as you see here, this is when it kind of changes to something completely different. Um, you know, this is during the riot here. This is all, you know, from the effects of, you know, George Floyd and, you know, police brutality and everything there. And, you know, when that happened, um, I kind of wanted to document that as well, which is why it morphed into this here where I'm saying the tell two diseases because we have COVID and then we have this, you know, racial issue, police brutality that's going on in our country. And I kind of want to put that into this, this project here. So that's where it kind of morphed into by having those two things there kind of uh, become one. Um, and I don't want to show you all the pages here because um, you can actually, actually purchase this with the link below. So I have a hard copy, which, which what this is, this is the hard copy here, and then there is a soft copy there. Um, prices are different there. Of course, the hard copy is a little bit you know, higher, but I will have the link in the description below, and it's from blurb.com. Now, blurb.com, you're probably wondering if you never heard of that, what is that? Well, that actually is a place where I created my photo book for free. 
and blurb.com you can just go in there upload any type of photos um, you don't even have to do a photo book you can do like you know a magazine you can do a portfolio for your portraits um, there's different papers and and like uh, sizes of you know uh, what you want the book to look like like there's so many different options that you can that you can use on that site to create your own photo book it's it's not hard it's pretty easy um, so yeah when you click on the link if you want to purchase this book here that link will take you to the website you can also create an account you can create your own book as well and you can start selling it I think this is a nice little small project you know if five or ten people buy it I'm happy I'm cool with that but more than anything it's it's for me it's a uh, it's a fulfillment for me for myself by having this here and I can have this on the shelf when people come over they look at this and like oh here's you made a book it's like I sure did another goal that I accomplished this year was I'm also a portrait photographer um, actually I do way more portraits than I do my street photography um, it's just kind of more where like career-wise the line of work that I want to go into and I've been doing photography for probably almost two years and one of my goals was to um, you know get my editorials into like a magazine and you know I feel like as a portrait photographer that is an accomplishment that everyone wants to you know strive for um, and I told myself this year that's what I wanted to do and to be honest I, I really can't believe I was able to get two goals met this year um, even with everything that's been going on but yes guys I finally got myself into my first magazine editorial yes so this is it no this is not me my shoot on the front cover to be honest once you see my photos they should have been on the front cover for sure um, but yeah this is called the VZSN magazine I think it's like vision magazine when you say it all together I think um, yeah um, so this is my first issue here uh, I literally just got it in the mail today so that's why I kind of want to get the camera and make this video here to show you guys both of um, you know these accomplishments here Now this here you know um, I did not create so this is completely different like the thing about editorial magazines is that um, the editors they have to choose from like hundreds and hundreds of, or thousands maybe of other photographers so if you get picked that it, it tells you like okay your work fits their theme but also shows that you as a photographer as an artist um, you're you're growing you know you you are accomplishing things or like I'm not trying to say like you're a better photographer um, than the, the than the ones that didn't get picked but getting picked into the editorial just really looks good on your portfolio on your resume um, especially when you start looking out for agencies and all that they're gonna ask you like hey have you ever done this because the thing is you can do a portrait and it could be great but if you're trying to do an editorial style for any type of magazine or newspaper and stuff there's certain things you have to put into those projects in order to accomplish that task um, you can't just pick up a camera and just take good photos or something no you have to like plan it you have to find a team um, you have to find a studio if you don't have one yourself um, you, you know you have to pick a theme um, what type of shots you're gonna get and all this stuff can be a limited time depending on your budget and your money and stuff so when you do that that shows people that you know how to plan you know how to operate you know how to lead something you know how to bring your vision to life so that's that's kind of what the goal is when you're trying to you know get yourself on any of these like magazines or whatnot um, so it just takes you know some dedication some hard work and some planning and eventually you'll get there because I've submitted to a number of different magazines out there and guess what I wasn't accepted so I just kept trying and kept getting better and keep you know keep doing things differently think of new ideas and eventually it happened and eventually it can happen to you too you know don't give up just because if they reject you maybe your photo is really great but maybe it did not fit their theme of work so you also got to look at it you know that way too so yeah let me guys show you guys whoa okay I don't know what that was but um yeah so this is it here the front page as you can see they got the different pictures here this is ours right here ours ours 
This is ours right here, page 36. So let's go to 36. Oh my gosh. Okay, oops, I wanna get back to the front page. And bam, here we go guys. Oh, I just hit my tooth. All right, anyway, <laughs> I'm so weird. All right, so this right here, this is the color of glass. This is my shoot here that I submitted to this magazine. We have the amazing model here. This is Rachel. As you can see here, this is out my team here that I worked with. I worked with a, uh, um, uh, a hairstylist and a makeup artist, uh, the makeup artist, uh, was Rachel as well. She's really good. And then uh, for my hair hairstylist, I had Elliot. So it was basically just just us here. Just um, there's a small team here, but we were able to pull it together. They were able to bring my vision to life. Um, and this is just kind of like the idea that I had for this shoot. Got this here. And yeah, I, I like this because they, they gave us a lot of like full pages here. So that was it there, but also too, I've noticed that at the very end, they got another shoot here. This is actually one of my favorite shots right here. So if you can see it, but um, yeah, now you can see it. So yeah, um, I'm very proud of myself to be able to accomplish that, but I'm not done yet. I'm going to continue to submit, to submit to even bigger accounts bigger magazines, and then hopefully maybe one day you'll see me on Vogue. I don't know. You might have a question like, how did you think of that idea? Somebody else asked me that and said, um, well, really I use, um, I just go on the internet and I'll just type in certain, I'll type in like eccentric portrait shoots or something. And I'll just skim through all the photos there and I'll just look at them. Some of them I will save and I'll put them together and make a collage. Um, and basically from that, I will envision my own idea and put that in place. And that's what you call a mood board. A mood board is basically just getting different photographs, photos, either colors, outfits, other photo uh, portrait shoots. You put them all together and that's your mood board. It's your vision of what you're trying to achieve and what you're trying to use from these different pieces to create your own. And that's how I was able to get this. Like for instance, I had one picture on my mood board. It was a girl on like a black table and it was one clear glass of water in there and it was in the middle and you know you had the person um, just kind of like you just see their head coming up from the table and she's like looking through the glass that was cool I wanted to do that but then you see I added color into the water with um, food color in my glasses so you see what I'm saying like I borrowed that idea but then I morphed it into my own so it can be my own signature so there's that but yeah guys, um, you can actually order this too. Uh, I might go ahead and put the link for this as well to their website. Um, I get no profit on it of course, it's just there if you want to look at it and then maybe one day you might want to submit to them as well. But I will also have the link here uh, that goes to theblurb.com. This here, you can purchase here. Um, you know, it'd be great here uh, if you did, if you enjoyed it and whatnot. Um, yeah, so this is what I want to talk about today guys, but I think that is it. Um, I'm hoping to kind of get back out there and do some more vlogs. It's just has been very, 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 very super hot and you know, Atlanta, Georgia here is uh, not that great when it comes to COVID cases. So that's another reason why I've been slowing down a lot. But this is your first time here. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel here. This is a growing photography channel. Make sure to like this video, comment below, tell me what you thought about my books. Was this video helpful for you? If it was, great. If it wasn't, I'll try to do better in my next future videos when something like this comes up again. So with that, guys, as always, keep your dreams alive. Peace.